Hey, welcome back guys, General Tiny here, coming back with a brand new COC episode. So we're actually about to do something that we should have done a long, long time ago. But for some reason, I've only just thought about this about an hour ago. And you know what? I'm going to get this episode out as soon as I can, because it's going to be a pretty damn fun one. So basically... Over the last, what is it, last six to eight weeks, I've done a few episodes on my channel of different troops taking on the single player maps, guys. It's basically called the Impossible Single Player Challenge, and I'm only allowed to use one troop, and they basically just go through every single one of the maps and see how far they can go. Well, this time, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing something slightly different. So instead of using one troop, we are using every single troop inside of the game against the impossible single player challenge. So basically, we want to see how many maps we can destroy, how many of those single player maps we can destroy using every single troop inside of the game. So if you are new to the channel, the rules are very, very simple. We are only allowed to use 240 trooping spaces. We are allowed to use 11 spells, but we are only allowed 11 spells. And of course, we're only allowed to use each hero once. So we're about to get ourselves into the first attack. We are about to take on the first goblin map, guys. And that is, of course, going to be payback. Now, before we do go in for the first live attack, the current record holder for this is the Hog Rider. The Hog Rider managed to destroy 23 of these single player maps before the entire army was dead. So what I want you guys to do, go down below into that comment section and let me know down below how many of these single player maps is this insane all max troop army going to destroy. I reckon we can do... I reckon we can get to like here, maybe like the Fool's Gold. I reckon we can do 17 maps. Let me know what you think about it in that comment section. So yeah, I think we can do 17, guys. We're going to kick this off straight away with the first one. I have no idea what troop I'm going to use, but it's just a little baby cannon. So we're going to start this off by using a Barbarian. Go Barbarian. Let's see if the Barbarian can kill that cannon. Damn. I think he's going to do it as well, actually. You know what? It, it's about equal, but the Barbarian should have this. Go on, Barbarian. You got this in the bag, son. He's got this, guys. He's got this. He's, he's got it. Has he got it? No. He hasn't got it. No. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Goblin. Goblin, where are you going? Goblin, where are you going? You're meant to kill the little the little cannon. Okay. The goblin's not got this either, has he? Has the goblin got it? N no. No. Okay. Second goblin. There we go, guys. Second goblin's got it. And finally, we have three start the first map. So there it is. First one's been taken down. Payback. So if you haven't yet, go down below in that comment section, as I said, and let me know how many of these maps do you reckon we can defeat doing this. Now, this is going to be extremely fun. I have no idea if we're actually going to reach map 17, but I've got a feeling we will. So here we go. The second map, guys, we're going to drop in a giant. The giant should deal with those archers. Take those archers down off of that tower giant. That is it. Level 7 giant. Now, don't forget, every single one of these troops are completely maxed out. There isn't a single one which we haven't got maxed out. Now, we do have two of some troops, maybe even three of some troops. Do we have four of anything? No, not four of anything. Obviously, we've only got one golem, one lava hound, and uh, one of the bigger troops like the dragons and the pekka. But the rest of the troops, we have maybe two, or as I said, maybe three of them. So the, uh, the giant's taken down the second map, and there it goes. So the Goblin Forest has been taken down. I don't reckon anyone's going to get the right guess, guys. I, I don't think anyone is going to correct the uh, get the right amount of maps. If anyone said something like... Um, I don't know. If anyone said something like 22, 23, I can't really see us going that high using this army. But you just never know. So we're going to use another giant. We may as well go in with a second giant. Is the cannon going to reach it? Yeah, it's going to reach it. But it's just doing such a small amount of damage. That, uh, that giant is so damn OP against these cannons. So whilst that big ginger beautiful man is destroying the cannon, do not forget, guys, we are approaching 600,000 subscribers. And we are giving away $250 to say thank you. Now, the giveaway is going to be live on Facecam. I'm going to show you who wins live on camera. So it is going to be 100% legit, guys. Nothing bad about it. There are going to be 25, well, 10 $25 gift cards. iTunes, Android, and of course, PayPal. Now, if you want the chance to win, all you have to do is leave a like right now on this episode to show some support to the channel. Let's go for a... Uh, what should we go for? Let's go for how many troops are inside of the game? I think there are. I think there's 20 troops inside of the game. So let's go for 20 likes. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now, guys. Subscribe to this channel to make sure you stay up to date with the giveaways and, of course, the winners. Now, there is a link in the description box. Hit the link and hit enter and you will be entered into the giveaway. As I said, we will draw the winners live on Facecam. So here we go. This is going to be the next one. There goes a miner, guys. So this is uh, this is the Rocky Fort. Maxed out miner going to slap the shizzle out of that cannon. The cannon's gone down already. Damn, that miner? 
Is he going to go for the cannon? Yes, he is. That miner is pretty damn strong. Damn. He's got his little gold spade, of course, because he is maxed out. Level 4 miner. Level 4 miner is going to make his way towards the, uh, that little tunnel there. Now, this is where he could be in a little bit of a problem. Oh, not at all, guys. Not at all. Wow. He's just taken down that town hall. Well, I don't know if it's a town hall. It's pretty much a town hall. So quickly. Oh, he's going to go straight for the cannon as well. That is fantastic. So he's going to take out the cannon. Now, so far, we've only used very small troops, of course, guys. We haven't used any of those big troops. We're going to keep them for the harder maps, hopefully, which are we will, well, we hopefully will reach in a few moments' time. But, yeah, the miner's going to take down that last goblin hut there. And there he goes. So the, uh, the rocky fort fell, and it is looking pretty damn good. So I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to change my mind. I reckon we can do 21 maps. So, so far we are on map number 5. I honestly think that we can do maybe 21. So, we're going to go with a combo here. We're going to go with a Barbarian Archer combo. Let's just see what happens inside of here. We're also going to go a combo on this one. We're going to go Wall Breaker and Archer. So, the Wall Breaker is going to distract. Do a little bit of splash damage to that cannon as well. Now, obviously... Oh, well, the Barbarian got taken out. The Barbarian died. Okay, guys. Barbarian died by the Minion will easily deal with that cannon. So bye-bye, cannon. You're going to get killed by... Oh, no, there he is. There he is, the cheeky little bugger, guys. So him and the archer are both still alive. And the minion. Damn, we wrecked this place. I'm not going to lie. This is definitely one of the most fun challenges I have ever done on this game so far. I didn't think it would be this fun, but it really is. I know the first episodes of uh, the first episodes in the series doing this using the hog riders and all those awesome troops was fun. But obviously, this is, is, uh, this is definitely a lot more fun for me because there are so many different troops. So we just destroyed... The, uh, the Goblin Gauntlet, I think. What was it? Yes, it is. So we're onto the Cannonball Run. I think there's two cannons inside of it. Oh, no, there's three. Okay, so we can just take this out using a minion. So one little minion is going to poop all over this entire base, guys. So that minion's going to take out the cannon. Make its way onto... We're going to call that the Town Hall. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm guessing it's a Town Hall. And then, of course, it's got the Green Goblin flag outside. But there's no, uh, no little air bombs or anything like that inside of this base. So the minion should be cool. So just working away on that town hall, I'm not going to lie, it's taking a little bit long, guys. So there goes the second minion. Now, we have to complete this entire episode in under 15 minutes because I can't make videos longer than 15 minutes on this channel. So basically, if it, if it does take too long to take down a map, because we are about six minutes, six and a half minutes into the video so far, I think. If it takes too long to take down a map, we're going to have to drop two troops in and maybe make it a little bit quicker. But there we go. Map number six, no problem whatsoever. How many troops have we got left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 troops left. We've got the three heroes, and of course we've got the spells, which means we could possibly do another 20 maps if we use one trooper map. I don't know if that's going to work out. Maybe another 16 maps. I don't know. Just, just a random guess there. You can still take a guess in that comment section, guys. As I said, I don't think anyone's going to get the correct answer, but who knows? So here we go. What are we going to do here? Let's use a wizard. Go on, Harry. Go on, Harry. Take out that cannon. Well, okay, Harry's going to spank that in three shots. Just about takes it out. Doesn't go below half HP, so I'm hoping that Mr. Potter isn't going to die from that cheeky little cannon over there. Maybe we should have kept one of those minions. It should be okay, though, guys. It should be okay. So he's... Ah, oh, he's getting targeted. All right, all right. So hold on, hold on. What, what can we do? We're going to send in a bowler, guys. There goes the bowler. Bowler is, of course, going to bowl that cannon, and it's going to take it out so damn quickly. Is it not hitting the walls? Didn't hit the walls, but it's going to take out those little goblin huts as well. So we've got one bowler left. We have uh, two two wizards left. So hopefully inside of the next battle, we can also use a bowler and a wizard. I don't mind using one of each of those because they are relatively small troops. So we just destroyed the cannibal run, which was map number seven. We're onto two smoking barrels. I'm guessing there's two cannons inside of it. Yes, there is, guys. So here we go. Let's do a combo. Let's do a combo. Bowler wizard combo. Is it going to work? Of course it is, guys. So they're going to take out that. Oh, oh, we should have chopped it there. Why did I just do that? Why have I just done that? I have no idea. So the bowler wizard combo is still going to do a great job on this base, though. Hold on. This is just the base we just attacked. Oh, wait a second, guys. I just attacked that. Okay, so I just messed up. Wait, wait, wait. We need to get a bowler back, and we need to get a wizard back. So we're going to need to gem a bowler, and we're going to need to gem a wizard, because I just attacked that by accident. So we are going onto the map after that, because we've already destroyed that. So that was the cannonball run. Two, no, there was two smoking barrels. Now we're onto the gold rush. So here we go. This is the next map. Now we're onto the next one. So we got a bowler left. We're going to drop the bowler over there. And we also, of course, have Mr. Potter. Now, Mr. Potter's going to go right there and take out that cannon. The bowler's going to do a lot of damage taking out that first cannon over there as well. Second cannon's gone down. Mr. Potter, is he going to get taken out? Oh, damn. Check the HP on Harry. Wow. That's doing, like, no damage to him whatsoever. Is it going to go off towards the cannon? Yes, it is. Harry should take that out pretty damn quickly. Go on, Harry, my son. He's going to take that out. 
The bowler is still alive, of course. Harry's going to work on the town hall. And the bowler should take out that cannon. So that is definitely a great start, guys. We are so far... We've taken down maybe eight or nine of these maps, and we haven't really used too many troops. So it's definitely looking awesome. There we go. Perfect for that one. And we are all ready. So we just done the gold rush there. That was the gold rush already onto this base, guys. I don't know what number it is, but I'm guessing we're going to have to drop in the miner here. Here we go. Miner's going to go in. We're also going to drop a Valkyrie because this base has quite a lot of buildings inside of it. But the Valkyrie should make quick work of this entire base. Here we go. That is what I love to see, guys. Valkyrie destroying it. We've got a Witch. Maybe we'll use the witch inside of the next one. The little, uh, the little miner is just going to destroy that pretty quickly. A couple of cheeky little army camps spaced out around the outside of this base. But I don't think that's an actual building. So the miner and the, uh, the Valkyrie doing a great little team job here. Valkyrie's going to take out one of those final buildings. Miner is taking out the final one. They're going to do a team tag. Take it out together. There it goes, guys. And we've destroyed base number 9 or number 10. We will count them at the end. But here we go. Going straight into the next one. What's it going to be? So we just on the line. We're into the Rat Valley. So Rat Valley time. Here we go. Valkyrie's going to go in on that side. And we're going to drop the Witch in on this side. But really far back. Just to make sure that she doesn't die. She's, she's going to spawn five skeletons. That brand new, of course, level five Witch. No, sorry, level three Witch. What am I talking about, level five? Level three Witch inside of the game. She's going to take out loads and loads of those uh, those cannons pretty quickly. The Valkyrie's already made its way into the center. And the, uh, the Magnot line. No, what's this? This is the Rat Valley, sorry. Wow, look at those little skeletons going through there. They don't trigger bombs, because I know there's loads of bombs inside of there, but of course they don't trigger them. So that's the next base taken down. Time to make our way onto the next one. So that was the Rat Valley. So, it is time to take on the Brute Force. So here we go, guys. Brute Force. Now, we still have quite a lot of troops left, but we're going to use something. We're going to use a can. Uh, we're going to use a, a balloon. So this balloon is definitely going to take a long time. So I'm guessing we're going to have to do this in two separate episodes because, as I said, we can't make the video longer than 15 minutes in length. But let's just see how much we can squeeze in. So we still have one balloon, one wizard, a healer. Of I don't know what we're going to do with a healer. I have no idea. I just I just realized we have a healer. Don't know what we're going to do with a healer. Maybe we'll use the healer with the pecker in one of the, lay uh, the later maps. So we got the dragon, the pecker, the baby dragon, the three hog riders, the golem, the lava hound, and of course the heroes left. And we still have the spells. This is definitely going to be one of the most interesting episodes we have done for quite some time. I'm looking forward to using the P.E.K.K.A. healer attack strategy, guys. Maybe we can use the P.E.K.K.A. and the healer against one of the really good bases towards the end of the episode. So make sure you stay tuned. There will be a part two to this. As I said, we're going to end this one here because part two is probably going to be over 10 minutes as well. So that balloon's just going to clear up those rest of the buildings, guys. Don't forget, you still have a chance to take a guess in that comment section. How many of these maps are we going to destroy? We're just going to wait for this balloon to take out the last few buildings. Then we're going to do a count and see how many we've taken down so far. So this is the, uh, the brute force. I think this is map number 13, maybe number 12. I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to give it a quick count. The final building's about to go down. There it goes. Perfect triple star, of course. The balloon wipes out the entire base. And if we go in, we count how many maps we've done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've only done 11, guys. Still going to be a second part, as I said. So I will see you very shortly for part two. Have a great day. Love you all. Peace out.